Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we will draw this super easy illustration and believe me anyone can draw this, even a complete beginner on digital arts, so let's get started. Create a canvas, I'm going to use 1625 60 pixels, you can also select one of the presets from here, or you can also choose the screen size, all other settings are as it is. After that just tap here to create your canvas, if you want to use exactly the same color I use in this video. Just paste the highlighted color hex right here. Now, use the fill tool to fill the black color. After that, create a layer on the top. Select the white color from the color palette and use the monoline brush to draw a triangle. Just draw the shape and hold your stroke, smart shape will correct it automatically, if it doesn't, go to the settings, scroll down and enable the shape detection. After drawing the shape, tap on the stroke to adjust it further, we want a tilted triangle. Now duplicate this layer and enable the alpha lock, then fill the highlight color. Disable the alpha lock and use the blur filter on this layer, I will keep it around 90%. Duplicate this layer two times to increase the opacity more. After that merge all the blur layers. Create a layer below the blur layer and use the circle tool to draw the planet with the solid fill brush. I will use the white color for now and change it later. Now, select the white triangle layer and make selection. Select the planet layer, disable the circle tool now, and erase the left side using the monoline brush. To disable the selection tap the red, erase the left side completely. Now select the planet layer and erase the intersecting part from the blur layer. Use the spray paint brush to smooth in the hard edges. After that disable the selection. Select the triangle layer and add additional bloom using the spray paint. Now erase the excess parts from outside the triangle. Create a layer above the circle layer and use the monoline brush to fill this layer with dots using the highlighted colors. Now, use the liquify tool on this layer, use the swirl option with maximum brush size and mix it well. Let's hide other layers for now. After you're done clip this layer to the circle layer. Now use the basic transformation and use the area you like. Switch it to warp and drag all corners and give it a circle shape.
Now enable the alpha lock on the circle layer and paint the highlight color on it. Create another clip layer and draw a curved black line in the left side. Now use the blur filter on this layer, move it a little then you'll be able to see changes above. Duplicate this layer to increase the opacity, then merge it. Create another clip layer above, and put a white dot around the middle and a curved line on the right edge using the highlight color. You can also change the color in real time while the stroke is in adjustment mode. Now, use the blur filter on this layer again. Move it a little for it to work and after that, lower its opacity. Use the spray paint and make selection of the circle layer, then select the top blur layer, now erase the extra part on the top. After you're done with it, disable the selection. Select the pattern layer and then, use the direction filter on this layer, we will keep it real low. I think this looks more smoother, you can see the difference. Now put your fingers on these two layers, and pinch to create a folder, swipe the layer panel to the left and tap on the folder, and tap here to create a merged copy. Then swipe it back to the left, now use the distort tool, now flip this layer and drag the lower two corners away. Then drag this middle point below. Switch to the basic transform, it may not work sometimes, just restart the tool. Now just try to keep this point next to the original. Now lower the opacity of this layer and use the eraser on it. If you can't increase the size much then just go to the settings and increase the size range completely. After that just erase the duplicate layer partially from the bottom. Now use the blur filter on this layer. Select the tilt shift option from here. Make the blur on the reflection from low to high. Create a layer above, draw a circle in the middle. After that just lower its opacity. Now, use the distort tool on this layer and adjust it, just drag the top part down and drag both ends and the bottom apart. Then switch it to basic transformation tool and position it. After that, use the blur filter on this layer using the same tilt shift settings. Now, use the eraser to smooth the edges even more. Select the reflection layer and add more bloom around here. After that, erase the excess part. Open the folder and create a layer in the bottom. Now, Use the circle drip brush to add stars inside the triangle.
Now, just use very little blur on this layer. Thanks for watching, support this channel by hitting the like button, and subscribe for more videos like this.